The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and BASF. Sherilyn Phelps, agronomy manager for Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, joins us here on uh, on Real Agriculture. And Sherilyn, root rots are, of course, a, a high priority when it comes to the agronomy and, and research that Sask Pulse is, is working on, considering the issues that we've seen in Western Canada in, in pulses over the last few years. What are some things that growers should keep in mind when it comes to crop selection for, uh, for the new crop year in light of these root rot issues? Well, rotations is one of the key things that you can do to manage the root rots, especially when aphanomyces is involved. So if you have fields that have tested positive for aphanomyces, you need to be out of peas and lentils for five or six years. So when you're considering rotations, you want to look at fields where um, if you have had them tested and aphanomyces has been tested positive, if you're looking at pea and lentil fields, you want to make sure that there hasn't been a previous pea or lentil field since four or five years ago. Um, other things that you can look at to consider is including other pulse crops that have more resistance to aphanomyces within that rotation. So what would that ranking scale look like? Peas and lentils would both be fairly equivalent in terms of Peas and lentils are both equally susceptible to aphanomyces root rot, but there is other root rot pathogens to also consider, such as Fusarium, Rhizoctonia, and Pythium. So there's a complex that can occur, and, and it can either be one organism or it can be a combination of the organisms. But when we're talking about the severe, severe situations that we've had, a lot of it relates to aphanomyces, um, and that's the one that's the most aggressive and the hardest to manage. And, and that's the one we tend to focus on with peas and lentils because that's the crops that are most susceptible to it. So what about chickpeas, faba beans, other pulse options? So other pulse options are, just as you said, chickpeas or faba beans and even soya beans. They are resistant to the aphanomyces or non-host crops, so they can be included in that five or six year rotation. When you're trying to stay away from peas and lentils, you could incorporate a chickpea or a faba bean or a soya bean, depending on the area of where you're growing the crops. Okay. But five or six years, that's a, that's a long time. That is a long time when you're used to growing on peas or lentils on a three or four year rotation. Um, but that's our best, um, best recommendation moving forward and we've really seen the impact of moving to those longer rotations if you want to ensure successful crops. The other thing that does play a real role is, is water management. So it's not only choosing what crop you want to put down on a field, it's choosing what field is most suitable for the crop. So fields for peas and lentils are best if they're well drained, a little bit lighter soil, so you're managing the water. So if you can reduce the water, you reduce the risk of a infection as well. All right. Thanks for your time, Cheryl. Okay.